McDaniels reacting to mean comments on uh, dating, huh? Yeah, let's see. They're trying to pick pick the man now. Is he? I don't know. Let's see. I ain't reacted to his videos in a while. Let's see what he's talking about here. People trying to start. Huh? What's going on, everybody? Nikki D here, coming at you live man yet again. Today we're going to be talking about some YouTube comments that I've recently got, but actually one that I mainly get all the time, um, and usually just telling me that I, my my ideas are flawed um, and my reviews are no good. So any uh, anyway, let's get into that uh, and let's cue the intro. Daniels. Okay, so yeah, like I said, so I, I get these comments all the time. I think they're pretty funny, honestly. Uh, so I might, uh, I'm not sure how I'll edit the video, but I might just slap a couple on screen um, in the next couple seconds. Usually they're just insulting me with uh, no relevance and, and, and so on. Wow, so they just tell me I'm dumb or something. Uh, however, though, there's always this one comment that will frequently come around. Not always, uh, obviously not the same person. But I'll get these quite frequently about my paid dating sites, okay? So most dating sites, if not all of them, have a paid feature, okay? Uh, but the majority of them come from the ones that really require you to pay, yeah. like adult friend. Yeah, most of them, like I know, the only one that's free, it's, well, semi-free, if you want to call it that, it's, it's POF. And then as soon as you, uh, 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 as soon as you get somewhere, hold it! Uh, you gotta pay for, uh, such and such. Okay, this is nine ninety five. So I was like, okay, so stupid. Okay. Uh, you can read the, uh... The message, but you can't see the person unless you pay for this and that. It's like, okay, this is, this is stupid. Findermatch.com, eHarmony would be examples uh, where you can't really do anything on the site without paying the subscription, okay? So a lot of these comments will always tell me that I'm just basically, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not reviewing the site properly. I didn't pay for anything. Uh, but there was one in particular I got there today. Um, I'll post the video later anyway. Um, that I thought, again, just budged me to make the video. I figured, you know what, I get enough of these comments anyway, so I think it's kind of funny. So let's make a video about it and uh, just tell you guys, uh, tell them why they're wrong. So yeah, so again, I get these comments all the time. And the most recent one told me that I didn't understand the science of eHarmony. Okay, so it was on an eHarmony video that I didn't understand wow. the science of it. Um, and basically, you know, I'm not paying for it. I'm not talking to the developers. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea, you know, etc. right? Uh, and again, it's all encompassed in other comments too, so it, it's it's all the same. So, as eHarmony is a prime example, I actually did pay for eHarmony, and I paid for it uh, many years ago, okay? So it was like early 20s, um, you know, I don't know, 23, about, something like that, and I paid for eHarmony, okay? Now, if you're not aware of eHarmony's subscription model, we'll have that uh, up for you now, it's costly, okay? And I was under the impression you could get a refund, and I couldn't, because apparently I was in Canada, so I wasn't allowed one. Uh, I ran out of matches message in about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, again, I have, a, I have a video like long ago on this. I think it's like literally a five-year-old, six-year-old video um, where I was kind of like a little fresher into using it. I actually I think that was maybe even around the time I actually had used it. Um, so maybe it was a little bit later in my uh, life. And yeah, I, I didn't speak highly of it. And what I do is I review it as a consumer, right? So that's what I give you guys as men and women watching. Um, is you're going to get the consumer, you know, look, right? So I would think, in my opinion, uh, when I would review a dating site, when I, you know, if I review the next dating site, whatever that might be, say Christian Mingle, which the video is coming, I swear I'm, I'm making it. Oh, um, what a, come on. Yeah, that, so that's... when I review something like Christian Mingle, what I'm doing <laughs> Somebody is Somebody said I'm about doing... that, that stick in sight. So they said, oh, I forgot who it was. So there ain't no damn Christian, ain't no damn Mingle or Christian Mingle. There's a yo, a bunch of freaks up there. No damn <laughs> Christian Mingle. Uh, he's looking crazy right now in the pause picture, but uh, yeah. See, so he said uh, he he I forgot who it was, but he finished it. He said ain't no damn Christian Mango. He said y'all some freaks up there. Yeah, he said he snuck. He said he snuffed them out. So you know Christian Mangos. Looking at it as comparing it to like Tinder, Bumble, or Hinge, right? All all three of those are free. Okay, they're in my opinion much superior. Okay, have Didn't way better Tinder amount free. of members. Um, you know, way better support, way better prices, way, you can use them for free, right? Like, there's just so much more about them that are better, right? I can't, like, actually think of pluses um, for some of these paid dating sites, right, that you actually have to pay to just even log in and make an account. I just cannot think of them. Mm -hmm. uh, in Harmony, for example, you know, the cost to me does not outweigh anything, 
like at all like it, it, it's not like oh well you know i pay the cost but i get this great search engine that can get me some matches i mean i ran out of matches again within minutes and i got no messages back and it was over that was it there was nothing i could do like there's no new ones i can't search i can't do anything um so again like me not knowing the science i mean yeah sure i don't know the science um behind it but i mean you could probably take anyone under the age of 40 and ask them, do you want to spend 25 minutes setting up a, a dating profile or would you like to spend a minute and a half? Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to say a minute and a half with mm -hmm. minus like five people. You know, the the slog to get through answering, you know, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no to all these questions that just don't seem to have any relevance to apparently get you matches are insane. Um, there's a dating coach that I have gone with before and she will only line you up with women that she thinks you're going to talk to and like. Uh, but again, I, I mean, who, who knows who you would bump into and actually enjoy the company of, you know, you have no idea. And I, I just find that, you know, really backwards to me. Uh, and again, like just to, the argument is just again to say, I don't understand the science. Well, I don't need to, I'm a consumer. I'm going to look at the product. You know, again, I'm going to see this product and I'm just immediately going to compare to the other options that are available on the market. You know, if someone were to go to like a grocery store, you're just going to look around at different prices, right? You don't need to understand the science behind their system and how they price things or anything. You're just going to look at the next best place and you're going to go, oh, yeah, that's a little cheaper. They got a better rewards program. It's exactly what I did. I shop at Superstore for that reason. Sorry, Sobeys. Uh, but uh, yeah, our business is done there. So I don't know. I think Sobe, it's a funny comment that I get all the time. You know, is it worth paying for these sites? 99% of the time, I'm going to tell you no. Uh, but, you know, I have paid for them in the past, and that's one of the reasons why I don't do it in reviews is because it's just a waste of money. There's no results out of it. Uh, I get more results out of free sites that I don't pay a cent for, right? Yes, the features are there, and I elaborate what they are, how you get them, what you get with them. But, uh, you know, again, we don't need to pay for them to figure that out. So, yeah, kind of in closing, I think it's just an interesting comment that I get all the time. Just this one in particular telling me, like, I didn't understand the science. Um, and I also get asked to, like, interview developers. For some reason, I feel like they, they don't want to talk to me. Um, or, like, you know, like, site owners. Like, I'm not usually pointing them in a good light uh, or painting them in a good light. So, you know, I can't see that, unfortunately, working in my favor. But it, it's an idea. And I always appreciate the ideas. But just, yeah, just to tell me I'm an idiot. Look, I'm going to clap back at you and tell you you're an idiot, too. Uh, because, yeah, I just I think that's a, a terrible idea to like encourage people to go to. He's been making these videos you know, for a while. Them, so if I think they're okay, he knows what the hell he's doing. Okay. If it's something like eHarmony, I'm not going to recommend it to you. The only way I'd recommend eHarmony, and I think I've said this before, uh, is if you are like maybe over the age of 50 and it's a free weekend, right? Because you don't pay a penny, you can sign in, you can send up a couple messages, and you can maybe try to line up a date. That's it. Again, if you're like under the age of 40. Right? Honestly, even even over the age of 40. Uh, yeah, t Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge, I guarantee you will have, you will have like 99.9% .9 more success. I, more than that. More than that. 300%. I don't know. Like, you'll have a crazy wow. number more. 300%. Than what you that's kind of high. If you only had one date off eHarmony, multiply it by 10. Right? And you paid nothing. Right? That That is the difference, right? Is you will, you will pay nothing. Uh, I don't know. I just get these comments all the time. I think they're really funny. Uh, in, in, in closing, I know I... People might go like, "Man, this guy is kind of cheese," but it's like, you know what? Just point them to this video. Next time they comment, I'm just gonna call, I'm just gonna comment the uh, the link to the video. They can just watch this and enjoy themselves, uh, which I'm sure they won't. Um, but yeah, you know, that's always with every uh, YouTube guy, right? That always happens. You always get these uh, dummies coming in, commenting this funny stuff. Um, yeah. So I guess in closing, that's it. We're just talking about YouTube comments, and uh, yeah, that's all you can do. You just keep making videos. <laughs> So, yeah, so if you guys don't enjoy the video, uh, feel free to just watch this one. I appreciate that. And if you guys are enjoying the videos, I appreciate that. Uh, if you guys want to see some dating apps in particular, let me know, and uh, we'll get on to them. And uh, we're not going to pay for the subscription. We're just going to check it out as a consumer. We're just going to see what it is, and uh, we're going to go on to the next thing. All right, take it easy. Peace. But, yeah, the, uh, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's been doing this for uh Several years now, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, so I remember he t when he took the um, I, think I just found a channel in, but it was an older video when he took the nature walk and he's talking about POF. Everything, everything he said was true. Then when they made the uh, the video chat thing, we could uh, uh, talk to folks. He's like, uh, why am I, why am I, why am I about to get in there and, and watch some person sit there and eat Doritos and uh. Talk about random crap or whatever he said. I'm like, yeah, he said, yeah, he's right. He's, 
Hey, what these T doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, he didn't start. <clears throat> he didn't start his channel yesterday. So, come on now.